So beekeeping is also about carpentry and um, repairs. So this is one of the areas where I do some of my woodwork. See if it's smoking away here, because part of the business um, is branding. So literally today I am branding <laughs> with a branding iron. So you may be able to see here that this is our brand. So the SP is Staunton Park. This is smoking, it's the first time it's been used. Um, so whether it's supposed to do that or not, I'm not sure, but here we go. And I, the supers will all get branded so that everyone knows that they're authentic. They're obviously they're mine. Uh, if anything ever gets stolen, it's easily identifiable. But also, if people are sponsoring hives, for example, they can see that, yep, that's one of the Staunton Park hives that's being branded. So I'm just going to measure up now the centre of this super whilst this is heating up. Look how beautiful that is. And you can see it in action. I've got a piece of spare wood here as well to be able to make sure that I am uh, working to the right temperature. So here we have our first offcut of wood. Let's try to get this straight and we'll see what happens. First go. So it's looking good, but the iron needs to be a bit hotter and probably needs to stay on a little bit longer. So the iron is now Obviously a little bit dirtier, <laughs> but there we go. Right, give it another whirl for 30 seconds so that you can see. I'll tie myself on here so I know. Okay, Oh, Smell of burning wood, it's quite nice actually, but it's quite funny, isn't it, having branding irons? You always see branding irons on steaks or on cows or, you know, but now I'm having them on my beehives, making sure that we can build a brand, making sure that people can identify the Staunton Park hives. They look great in the videos, look great on the marketing material for the videos that are being sent out to our sponsors. There we go. That's been more than 30 seconds. So yeah, a bit too much that time. But they do say that the best thing to do is to get some sanding paper to have a look and see what it looks like. So just need to just rest this up so that it doesn't burn anything. Okay, so a bit of sandpaper. Do you know what? I think it's pretty good. Blurred the lines a little bit through the B, but I think that's not too bad. I'm quite happy with that. I think it looks beautiful and I'm a little bit excited because, you know, building a brand, <coughs> it becomes personal. And uh, I take pride in what I do. So I've worked out the middle. There is the middle. So now it's trying to line this up to make sure it's straight. And in the middle, here we go. Here's the first one. So the SP. The middle. Off we go. No turning back now. So let's wait and see how this turns out. I'm feeling as though this wood is a different wood to the one that I've already used. So 30 seconds may be too much, but we've got to begin somewhere. I'm using the timer on the camera. 
I chickened out because <laughs> that was 25 seconds. So, there we go. The first one. I think that's been on a bit too long myself. But let's do the other side. Obviously the iron's been on a little bit longer now, so it's obviously got a bit hotter. Right, got that measured up. So a little bit less time, I think, this time. Try and line her up. There's a few in the middle. Yeah, it's definitely hotter this time, so I'm only going to go for 20 seconds. Sizzling away. But practice makes perfect, hey? We'll see what happens and hopefully I don't burn down the house. <laughs> right, I think that's enough time. Yeah, again, probably a bit too much. But this is the first time, you know, trial and error. So, here we go. Well burnt on. So this side here, as I say, let's give it a bit of a... Okay, so looking pretty good. In fact, probably needed a bit longer. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, loads better for being longer. Really good. So the long, longer, the better. Look at that, looking good. Looking good, I'm very happy with this. Yeah, the brand is coming to life. So, we've got the branding iron ready. Nice and hot. Mark the center on the hive. So now, 30 seconds. Make sure it's square on. Okay, job done. That looks a bit, a bit much this time, but we will wait and see. And then the other side, marked again. So, off I go. So why am I doing this? It's because of brand, trying to brand up the hives, make it look the best that it possibly can in the videos and in the marketing presentation for the sponsored hives. Also as security, so that if anybody steals any of the hives, then, you know, it's pretty obvious that they're, they're our hives, the SP for Staunton Park. The B, it just looks beautiful as well, to be fair. And it's that little bit of extra quality that we try to make sure that we exude in our products. Right, there we go. So turn this around again while that side cools down. So you can see it's a little bit burnt, this one. There we go, look at that. Looking good. On the other side, this one shouldn't need as much sanding. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. And there you go, that's how it looks on the hive. So, really stands it apart, doesn't it? really sets it off from being a normal, beautiful looking hive to all of a sudden a branded hive. So it's showing your branding throughout the whole apiary. One sponsored hive ready for action. Thank you very much to Arnold and Baldwin Chartered Surveyors for sponsoring this hive. Staunton Park bees. Thank you for everything. Ready for action. Ready for filling.